Hey, how's it going? So, uh, I'm in the hospital right now because I stepped on a rusty nail, so I haven't made a video in uh, a few days, so, you know, I wanted to, but I, you know, just, I've been in a lot of pain for the past few days, and I just had surgery, um, as you can see here, let me show you. Yeah, it's, it's my, uh, they casted it up pretty well, and I gotta wear this thing for the next however long it is for when I would go walking. And, uh, yeah, yeah, kind of, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's, it got, you know, we're on his time, so, you know, there was probably a reason for it, and I guess, you know, the reason was so that I would move to Austin, so yeah, it is what it is. But anyways, I just wanted to uh, make a video and, you know, see how, you know, everyone's doing. I wish I had my Bible with me, but um, I came to the hospital in a rush. I came to the hospital a few days ago. Uh, I believe it was when Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, it was Wednesday when I came, and, you know, it's, I just I was just under so much pain that I didn't even think to bring my Bible or anything. I just, you know, I had just... You know, and originally my friend, um, see, I didn't want to go to the hospital because, you know, I'm stubborn like that. And I was just like, I walked it off and, oh, look, somebody's here. Everything good, man? Yeah. 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 You need anything? Uh, oh, can I get juice? Um, okay. Uh, what, do, what do you guys have? Cranberry, apple, orange, and cranberry grape. Can I get it? cranberry? Yeah. yeah. I'll bring you some, okay? Cool. Yeah. I'm spoiled in the hospital. Hey. The uh, staff's really nice. Um, they shot me up with a lot of morphine because I was, man, I don't want to say I was screaming, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't. So, you know, I was, it was real bad. Um, part of the nail was still in my foot. It was rust. So what happened was um, me and my friend had taken down the top part of his patio and put in the backyard. And we were like burning most of the stuff little by little. And uh, one, it had been out there for a month and a half or so. And uh, one night I went to go tend to the fire and I guess I stepped on, uh, well, I stepped on a nail because I didn't see, I couldn't see where I was going. And I didn't wear boots. I, I had boots, but I didn't wear them, you know, because I thought whatever, which is stupid. So I, I walked, I went out there with just tennis shoes and I stepped on a nail and I instantly just regretted it. And I limped back to the house and... I mean, it's, yeah, so, yeah, I had a rusty nail on my foot, and my friend told me, or told me that I should have gone to the hospital, I said, no, it's okay, I can walk this off, and he said, alright, dude, you can do that, but you're gonna have to, I mean, you're gonna have to go and take care of it, and I said, alright, so I texted on Facebook, and said, hey, I stepped on a rusty nail, should I be worried, you know, so the next morning, um, my aunt, you know, messages me and tells me that she was going to send wire me money so that I could get my tetanus shot and everything and go see a doctor. So that happened and I, I was grateful and I was, thank you, thank you, Father, for, you know, letting my aunt you know, help me that way. So, so then uh, after that, I went, and it was at night, it was because we had done errands throughout the day with, uh, as amazingly enough, with the nail still, in, well, part of the nail still on my foot, so that kind of hurt. And then um, around like 9 or 10 uh, is when I went to go get my tetanus shot. That same night, which was Tuesday night, I um, it hurt a lot, but I thought I could just, I didn't know that there was still a piece of it in my foot. I just thought whatever. So um, I woke up and I was in excruciating pain. I couldn't even stand up. I had to like crawl to the bathroom to get my, or the, the peroxide and the swabs and everything. And I crawled back and it was real pathetic and um you know, my friend told me, like, you're going to the hospital. And I said, okay, yeah. And so he went and got me a two-by-four thing to, to use as a cane um, so I could put my weight on it. And I had to, you know, I had to limp and hop, hop limp. I don't know how, um, you know, I had to hop limp to the car and then came to the emergency room and the whole time we're going there I was just like yeah they're not gonna do anything they're just gonna you know tell me that they're just gonna shoot me away and he's like no dude they're not gonna shoot you away and I get here and immediately they see me with a two by four and hopping and limping and you know just in pain they get they get me in a wheelchair and then take me inside and then 
um, take me into another waiting room that's like, I guess, a speed track, and then I get seen immediately, I get an x-ray, blood stuff, and um, that hurt, just because I had to keep my foot still, and oh, that really hurt a lot, so yeah, I had to, I had to keep my keep my foot still, which was excruciatingly painful for 20 minutes. Um, after all that, I got a room, and then they just pumped me full of morphine and stuff and antibiotics, and then um, that same that same night, because uh, I, I went to the hospital on the Wednesday morning around like 11, finally got seen everything. Uh, I can't say night. I, I had surgery around like 11, or wait, hang on. I'm sorry. I got to the hospital around 10, and then like two hours or so after I so like noonish. Uh, I had surgery like about a couple hours after you know being getting to the hospital and then taking to the back and then getting you know X-ray and stuff and then doing that. So they they worked pretty fast, very fast actually. And uh, then I was kind of in a bed and they moved me to this area where there's a bunch of curtains, different people. Well, I guess they're waiting to go to surgery. The OR is what they called it. And they said that I was going to be awake, but like sleepy. And I said, uh, really? Like, am I going to feel? And they're like, no, no. And I was like, okay. And then before I knew it, I started to get tired. And then I like, I don't even remember going to an emergency room. I just remember like, I just remember kind of like waking up sort of like, I don't remember when I went to sleep. I don't remember when I woke up. I just remember like, it was just a blur. Like, that's how good their medicine is. So yeah, that happened. And, um, yeah, the doctor said that uh, they took out, there was rust inside, and they had to clean it and everything, and then they wrapped it really well with this. And then um, they said I was going to stay in the hospital for a few days, which today is, what, Saturday? So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so yeah, I guess, yeah, just a few days, so Saturday. So I'm, I'm leaving today, and uh, I'm going to be... Going over to my aunt's. My aunt's going to take me to Austin. So, yeah. Because I can't really, t I mean, I can't do anything um, by myself. And, I mean, I don't expect my friend to just, you know, drop everything, and, you know, because that's just, you know. <sighs> it sucks because I'm used to just doing things on my own. I mean, of course, you know, friends help me out here and there and let me stay with them, but. I'm, for the most part, I'm used to, like, doing things on my own without having, like, you know, help or... So this is going to be kind of weird. But, you know, I guess it's, it's a humbling experience. Another humbling experience because, you know, now I really have to... I have to stop. You know, because there's been... I'm sure there's been a lot of times in my life when, when uh, I push myself too hard, like... I was 14 years old, and I remember I was helping, I was volunteering for the church I, was, I went to, where we were um, building the upstairs theater, and uh, I guess I didn't drink water that whole time, and then, you know, I had a heat stroke, and then, you know, I had to tell my grandma, like, no, it was my fault, you know, I was the one that was being stupid, I didn't, they offered me, and I said, no, I'm good, and so, you know, but anyways, um, yeah, just wanted to make a video, see let you guys know how I'm doing. And the view is actually pretty. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm leaving today. It's, um, it's 11. It's about to be 12. So as soon as my aunt gets here, I'm out but I gotta go to my friends and pick up my stuff pick up my Bibles all my notes and everything my guitar and such so but I'll be honest I haven't really been eating much or the best at all you know I've, for the past month and a half you know I've probably ate like once or twice a day and hasn't really been that good you know just I mean, you do what you can with what you got, and, you know, I didn't really have too much to begin with, but, you know, I, I, I uh, you, you make, you make do with what you got, but, um, 
I don't really have anything else to say. I wish I had scripture in front of me to show you guys, but I don't. So I guess I'll leave it at that and let you guys uh, enjoy your day. So God bless. Jesus loves you. And before before I take off, I'm going to say a prayer. So, you know, anybody who um, is new to Jesus or the kingdom or God or even just, you know, seeing some of my videos um, talking about Yeshua can take it. So, <sighs> all right. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving me the uh, chance to be able to connect with people, even though I'm not, you know, out and about in the city and walking around and stuff. I can still be, you know, involved with technology. And I used to hate technology. And I, <laughs> you probably remember me cursing at cell phones and stuff because I used to hate, you know, because I didn't use this stuff until I was probably about 19 or so. Um, but thank you for opening up my mind and my heart and letting me see the truth. And I pray that, you know, my actions will, will, um, people who don't know you yet will see how, um, you know, living now and trying to be close to you and will want to have that kind of peace and they'll follow in your, in your footsteps and they'll read your word and they'll get close to you. And I, I pray that, you know, we, we bring more of our brothers and sisters home. I recently just talked to my friend Philip from, uh, HEB. And, uh, it's funny because when I was at HEB, you know, I was always, I was an atheist at that time. And I would always, you know, whenever you bring up God, I would get, uh, I wouldn't get mad. I would just tell him like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know, if, if God exists, then this or something, I would always say something snarky and he wouldn't, you wouldn't get mad. He would always like, just laugh at it and say, oh, you don't know. You know, God's going to work with you some, sometimes if he was, he's just, uh, my friend Phil is just the perfect example of what we should be for, for your kingdom. You know, somebody who can just just share love even though of course it's not good for somebody to curse your name and i didn't curse your name at that time it's just you get what i'm saying you know he knew that i had you know seen a lot of bad things and you know so i was very much jaded and he he still showed love to me and told me that god loved me and and you know i'm i'm just glad that he was he was crying actually when i talked to him and um yeah <laughs> and i know you know him because you know and uh anyways i'm getting off track i'm sorry but i pray that anybody watching this will um come to find you come to know you better and i pray that you know we can learn more of your word and the things that we don't know you know we pray for guidance and wisdom and that you show us what we need to do and and that you know we your word your word be done on heaven like it is on earth and uh, in jesus name i pray amen Thank you, Yeshua, for always being with us. Always. You are always with us. We are never alone. Ever. We are never, ever alone. Even right now, I feel you and your angels are just sitting with me. Just having tea time. <laughs> Amen. And actually, it's true, because I am having tea time. Yeah. It's coffee, actually, but you know, but anyways, I'm gonna let you go, so just wanted to share that for you guys, so.